Hi, it's Susie again with another quick exercise tip. This week we're going to be talking about lunges and how some subtle variations in things like the step distance and your trunk position can really help to bias different muscles. Now a lunge is a great exercise to develop strength in the thigh muscles at the front and the back, the hip muscles and those trunk muscles as well. Now just a reminder when you're doing a lunge there are probably many variations that you've seen. You can do a forward lunge where we're taking a step forward, descending down into the lunge and then step back to the starting position you can do a reverse lunge where we're stepping back descending down into the lunge and then returning to that starting position you can also do variations where you're stepping to the side and lunging before returning back or you can hold any of the positions so I might start in this position here and rather than taking the step back each time I just continue to move up and down in that position now let's get on to those subtle variations. So whether we're taking a step forward or a step back, if I concentrate on taking a slightly smaller step, and people will naturally do this, they'll tend to not take too much distance between the front and the back leg. And I focus on really keeping my trunk more vertical throughout the movement. I'm gonna be focusing a lot more of the attention on the muscle at the front of the thigh called the quadricep muscle, okay? Now, in contrast to that, if I take a larger step forward, and just as a side note, if you do find that you struggle with balance and that's why you take a smaller step, just make sure when you're taking that step forward that you're not having the legs too close together. It's not a balance challenge. We wanna have a little bit more distance between the legs to give us a wider base of support. So if I take that slightly larger step forward, and if I lean slightly forward with my trunk, not a huge amount, but just a very subtle forward lean as I'm performing that lunge. Then I'm gonna be focusing more on the muscles at the back of the hamstring or the back of the thigh area called the hamstring and into the hip area itself. Now there's another great variation that you can do on a lunge which is called a curtsy lunge. And this again is gonna take the focus to a slightly different muscle, more the side of the hip muscles, the gluteus medius and minimus muscles. So to perform that, I'm gonna show you front on. We're gonna take a step behind and I'm going to make sure that my foot is crossing over the position of the front leg. Okay, and then I'm keeping my hips level as I'm dipping down to the ground, returning to that starting position or simply holding that position. So again, that's gonna focus more on the side of the hip muscles. Of course, all lunge variations, you're gonna work all of the muscles that are listed at the beginning, but we can make those subtle tweaks to focus a little bit more on the areas that we need more strength. Now with lunges, it's really important that you're doing it on both sides you shouldn't experience any knee pain when you're doing it. So if you do, you might need to look at a different style of lunge or a shorter depth of lunge, or you might need to look at a different exercise until that knee settles down a little bit more. But I hope you've enjoyed today's tip. Stay safe, stay active, and I'll see you soon for another quick exercise tip.